Right, blessings. Oh, don't worry, you're not late. <laughs> We're early again. So, if we're getting early, then we can, you know, say hi and stuff before you know, the duke start. Um, so, hi to anyone who is scrolling through and sees strange things going on. <laughs> it's a new moon this evening. So, we're doing a Facebook Live ritual for scrolling that purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, technical stuff there. So, what are we doing this evening? Uh, well, to, uh, new moon is all about new beginnings. So, that could be a new anything, okay? Uh, it could be anything from your new job to, you know, you want to start a new project. Maybe it's just an energy, a new energy that you want to bring to your life, your magical work, whatever that might be. Um, so, if if you if you're here, say hi in the little typey thing, <laughs> and I'll say hi back. <laughs> so, what have we got on the altar this evening? We've got some really nice incense burning. Uh, I've got an offering for Hecate, garlic, and bread down there. Hi, Krista. <laughs> Who's that? Hi, Ruth. <laughs> hey. Um, I've also got some, uh, it's fake wine because we don't drink, so we've got fake wine there, um, candles, bell, because we're going to be doing, uh, if you saw in the Facebook feed, uh, we're going to be using this sigil this evening, okay, it's a Hecate sigil, so if you've got it on your phone or you've printed it off, um, then what we, when we, um, use it you, you visualize it yeah you kind of stare at it it's a bit like um trataka in yoga yeah so it's it's a it's a meditation where you you gaze at the the, the whatever it is sometimes it's a candle sometimes it's a sigil and then you close the eyes so then you can see the almost negative image of that <laughs> and we use we're going to use words with that again i did put them up um and again, you, you can join in with these if you want to, or you can say them in your head, you can say them out loud, you can not say them if you don't want to, you can just use a sigil, that's fine. Um, whatever works for you, really. Uh, I did this last night after the dark moon, and wow. <laughs> this was jumping off the page, but I did anoint it with my blood, so <laughs> you don't have to do that. You don't know how hard it is to actually make your finger bleed, it's really hard. <laughs> trying to prick the finger with a pin is that ouch um so and again if you have a key you can use a key with that as well so we'll be doing that um that's kind of the main thing for this evening um we will be doing some drum to uh, raise our energy today so we do the grounding and then we use drum to raise our energy okay um and then i will cast a circle uh call the elements we're going to call the elements today we didn't call them yesterday uh, only because it's i don't know you don't always have to call the elements it's up to you um and then i've got some words for hecate as well uh so then when we've, when we've got everyone in the circle <laughs> It gets, it gets quite packed in here <laughs> when you got everyone in the circle. So once we've got everyone in the circle, we are going to use the sigil and the words. Uh, now, I didn't bring my mala in. So we, we will just do the these words. So I did post the words, yeah. Hecate, trimorphis, triodetes, endodia, enodia, sorry. Um, so if you want to grab those words, you can do that with me, you can. If not, that's fine. <laughs> so once we've done that and we've got that energy built up through that sigil, what we do is we focus our intention so it goes through the sigil and then off. Yeah. And the trick with setting intentions is that you just, it's like handing over a baton to the universe. Yeah. 
So it is done, it is done, it is done. It's gone, yeah? So no more thinking about it, no more, oh, I might just refresh that spell and see, yeah, because it hasn't quite worked yet. No, you leave it to the universe, yeah? It will do its thing. It might take a little while. Sometimes it takes a bit longer than others. Uh, it depends on your energy you're putting into your intention, yeah? If your energy is high, which is why we use the drum to raise energy, because we do that work. Um, if your energy is high, then that's going to come back quicker, yeah? It's, it's you know... <laughs> The, the law of what you put out there, you're going to get back, okay? So if you have a drum or you have something you can use to get your energy going, maybe put some music on to, to get that energy going, that's fine. But we will be playing drums here as well. Um, okay, so where's the time? I can't see that. <laughs> it's too far away. Okay, so I've rambled on enough. Let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so I'm just going to light these candles. I won't be casting the circle walking it today. Um, so I'm going to light these candles now. If, I, if, I, if I'm walking the circle, I tend not to light the candles because I'm liable to catch myself on fire. So I won't be doing that today. Okay. So the first thing we're doing, we're going to ground. Okay, so I'm going to do that slightly differently today. Um, so make sure you're sitting reasonably comfortably because we're going to do something that's called Sufi grind. So if you know Kundalini yoga, you will know this. So you can be sit, you can do this sitting in a chair, you can do it sitting on the floor, you can do it cross-legged or with legs out straight, whatever is comfortable for you. Okay, so the hands just rest on the knees, and all we're doing is moving torso imagine your spine is like a teaspoon in a cup and you're stirring the spoon so it's touching around the rim of the cup okay so you can close the eyes here if you want to and if you want to use the breath here we breathe out as we come forward breathe in as you move back So the breath is relaxed. And the movement is, is as, as slow or as fast as you want it to be. Some people go really slowly in this particular um, movement. Some prefer to go quicker. But the idea of it is we are stirring the Kundalini at the base of the spine. So we're activating the root chakra, okay, which is your connection to the earth. That's where our energy comes from. Not there, but from the earth. <clears throat> so when you activate your root chakra, you're tapping into stability, abundance, that, that real feeling of security, yeah? Breath going. Don't hold the breath, yeah? Breathing. So if you want to as well, you can visualize the color red. Like a bright, crimsony color red, yeah? That's the color of the root chakra. We're going to go the other way. So it can feel a bit weird when you go the other way. <laughs> Stick with it. You'll get there, okay? Smile. Find a smile deep inside yourself. Breathe. So we breathe in as we come forward. Sorry, out as we come forward. In as we come back. This is really good. Um, it's a good thing to do first thing in the morning, actually. Um, when you've just got out of bed, it's really good for freeing up the spine. So it's not only good for magic work, it's good for your spine as well. Breathing. slowly 
actually going to come back to center. I want you to keep the eyes closed because we're going to raise our energy with the drum. If you have a drum and you want to join in, that's fine. It's amazing if, if you can um, grab yourself, you know, uh, buy yourself a drum because it's an amazing way to not only ground yourself but raise your energy in a really powerful way. Yeah, it's amazing and it connects with the earth. The drum connects with the earth, so it's when you play that drum, that's what you're yeah, that is your connection. 
Okay. So, and if you'd like to carry on playing the drum for me. So I'm going to cast a circle. So this is another way to cast a circle. It's very simple. Um, if you want to, join in with the words you can. That's up to you. So just closing the eyes. And while I say these words, I want you to imagine that the circle is casting itself around you as well. Okay. So it's really quite magical. <clears throat> circle cast, circle conjure. 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 Goosebumps. <laughs> Ooh, goosebumps and tingles. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to call the elements. So again, there are many ways you can do that. Um, I have many different ways to do that. Uh, but this one's quite nice. Uh, so for us, we're going to start in the east. Okay. The power of air. This mirror doth wield, it blows to the priestess, dark visions revealed, elemental air, we call on you and we bid you hail and welcome, hail and welcome. Powers of earth in midnight's black hour, the mirror gives birth to your silent power, elemental earth, we call on you and we bid you. Hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. The West's only daughter, the moon's flowing heart, by fish, fin, and water, intuition in part. Elemental water, we call on you and we bid you hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. Powers of fire flicker and flare through the mirror inspire your prophecies rare. Elemental fire, we call on you and we bid you hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. Hecate. Queen of witches. Goddess of witchcraft and of magic, keeper of the key. Goddess of the crossroads and the thresholds, the dark moon and the black dogs. Necromancer, sorcerer, protector of witches. All-knowing mistress of the herbs and the baneful. Psychopomp and spellcaster, guardian of healers, herbalists, leaders, warriors, 
and bows who ride horses. Almighty Hecate, we call on you and we bid you hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. going to use the sigil, okay, with the words, grab your key if you need it, and be clear on your intention, because at the end of the chanting, we're going to send our intention out through the sigil, okay. So you are gazing on your sigil. It's not like, oh my God, really staring at it. So your eyes are partially closed, okay, while you're doing this. And it's almost like you're not focusing your eyes. You're like, um, it's like those funny pictures you used to get in the 80s where it was all jumbled up and you had to sort of uncross your eyes <laughs> to, to see it, if that makes sense. So it's a bit like that. And if you get stuff, yeah, Go with it, yeah. Don't try and hold on to it, just let it go, yeah. So, you might see all sorts of things. I've seen kind of like 3D, it became 3D, I had an aura, uh, all sorts of things you can see with this work, okay. <clears throat> so, if you want to join in with the words, you can, otherwise, you're just using your sigil, so you're gazing on your sigil. Hecate, try Morpheus, try Odetes and Odia, Hecate, try Morpheus, try Odetes and Odia, Hecate, Hecate, try Morpheus, try Odetes and Odia, Hecate, Hecate, try Morpheus, try Odetes and Odia, Hecate. Hecate, try Morpheus, try Odetes, Hecate. Hecate, try Morpheus, try Odetes, and Odia, Hecate. Hecate, try Morpheus, try Odetes, and Odia, Hecate. Hecate, try Morpheus, try Odetes, and Odia, Hecate. Hecate, try Morpheus. Try Odetes and Odia Hecate. Hecate, try Morpheus, try Odetes and Odia Hecate. 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 Try Morpheus, try Odetes, 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 and Odia Hecate. Try Morpheus,
Trimorphis triodetis enodia hecate. 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 Apologies for the strangeness of the video disappearing. <laughs> I really don't know what happened there. That was very peculiar. So we did the chant. Sent the intention out through the Sijin. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to do some drumming to end and then I'm going to devoke Hecate, the elements and close the circle. Okay. Uh, apologies again for the strangeness of the, <laughs> the video stopping. That's very peculiar. <laughs> Weirdness abounds with magic, I tell you. <laughs> weird stuff's been happening today, and yesterday had some weird stuff too. Okay. So if you're still there, <laughs> oh 
gonna do technology. You're gonna love it. Yourself a drum, they're amazing. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm going to devoke Hecate, although I usually ask her if she wants to stick around. Sometimes she does, um, and then devoke 
the elements. Okay. Hecate, Queen of Witches. We thank you for joining us in our circle. We thank you for your gift of knowledge and wisdom. Stay if you will, go if you must, and we bid you hail and farewell. Hail and farewell. The earth, the air, the fire, the water, Return, 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 return. The earth, the air, the fire, the water. Return, 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 return. The earth, the air, the fire, the water. Return, 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 return. The earth, the air, the fire, the water. Return, return. Return, return. May the circle be open but unbroken. May the God and the Goddess be ever in your hearts. Merry meet and merry part and merry meet again. Blessed be.